commanders? Well, Diane, this seems like a part of what is, is a new trend, punishing officers for tactical decisions in wartime, which concerns some in the military who say things are really unpredictable in war. The enemy has a vote. Uh, so the enemy has a vote is the feeling among some of the ranks? It, it, it certainly is, Diane. Several officers I've talked to are concerned about this. Of course, others are not. Stefan Mace's uh, grandfather would be one of them. All right. Thanks so much to you, Martha. And by the way, President Obama honored another group of Americans who served in Afghanistan. Today, he attended a memorial service for the seven CIA officers killed in that suicide attack late last year. At the remote outpost, they were bound by a common spirit, he told the family members. They served in the shadows and took pride in it. They knew that the price of freedom is high, and in an awful instant, they paid that price. And still ahead on World News, fiery words. We take you to the Tea Party convention where the accusations were flying. The governor's wife going public with private pain, an exclusive interview. And someone crashing through a barrier. Our person of the week. Fact. Every time you take Advil, you're taking the medicine doctors recommend most for joint pain. More than the medicines in Tylenol or Aleve. The medicine in Advil is the number one doctor recommendation for joint pain. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. My mother knew I needed calcium, and now I know without enough, our bodies can steal it from our bones. Only Caltrate delivers 1,200 milligrams of calcium and 800 IU of vitamin D in just two tablets. Share some TLC, tender loving Caltrate. For all the moments that make every day special. Fancy Feast appetizers. High quality ingredients like wild Alaskan salmon in a delicate broth without byproducts or fillers. Fancy Feast appetizers. Celebrate the moment. A labor generous is on a roll. New anti-aging eye roller. Reduces puffiness immediately. And also helps with lines and wrinkles. Not surgery. This is our way to do your eyes. New Regenerist Anti-Aging Eye Roller. Investors are putting their money back to work, but not just anywhere. This time around, I want facts. I'm probing, analyzing. TD Ameritrade's made for that. They give me free objective research. From Standard & Poor's, Morningstar, independent experts. And I can call TD Ameritrade anytime, day or night. Or visit a branch. For help, not just a sales pitch. They actually know the difference. Time for fresh thinking. Time for TD Ameritrade. <laughs> Transform drinks you want into cold medicine you need. Introducing Fast Crystal Packs, a new way from Alka-Seltzer Plus to get cold and flu relief in a taste-free, fizz-free powder. Alka-Seltzer Plus. Irene, drop the itch. We dropped the itch. Maximum Strength Scalpacin stops intense scalp itch fast, helps you heal. I dropped the itch. Free yourself from embarrassing scalp itch. Drop the itch with Scalpacin. It's party time in Nashville tonight, Tea Party Politics. The first National Tea Party Convention surprisingly has only drawn about 600 people. But it didn't take long. The name calling began. John Berman is in Nashville. The business of this first ever National Tea Party Convention is the nuts and bolts of politics, like voter registration. We're all gearing up for November 2010. But barely scratch the surface, and there's a tone of anger and confrontation. You know what we're here for? A little bit of R&R, &R for revival and revolt. <laughs> the convention's first speaker, former Congressman Tom Tancredo, said that people who voted for Barack Obama could not pass a basic civics literacy test. People who could not even spell the word vote put a committed socialist ideologue in the White House. The president, a socialist, his supporters illiterate. Today, Tancredo stood by those comments. These people didn't have the slightest idea about what America is all about. And the leader of the Tea Party convention had no problem with it either. They did a fantastic job, didn't they? When we asked delegates what they thought, their feelings about the president were almost universal. I believe he's, uh, he is a socialist ideologue. You just read his history, he's a Marxist. As for calling the president's supporters illiterate? Well, I think that was probably a little harsh. The schedule for this convention shows the range of ideas here, everything from a, a seminar.